Hey guys, I'm Shana Claremont from Australia. I have a story that I know many can relate to somewhere along the lines. It's a pretty, pretty colourful one and I don't think there's been a, a career or an avenue I haven't tried to delve down and find that passion and find myself. And I know many can relate to that. We're all on that journey. One thing I came to really realise was, was a case of alignment. Was I truly in alignment with those things that I was journeying towards? Did it really light that fire in my belly? Did I really feel passionate? Or was it more or less actually my mindset? So much of my mindset. And I spent years journeying and delving into different avenues. And then I realized it was so much more than that again. It was the daily due diligence and the working on myself. And so when someone said to me, I can earn money doing what I love, I was like, no way that I could do that. Because would I want to be doing what I love 24 seven? Would I still love it? Would it still excite me? Would I still want to share that with the world? Uh, I don't think so. And I think it comes down to having several things that you are enlightened with. Several things that you're passionate with. Several things that feed into each other that just wake you up every day, excited to be there excited to share, finding that passion, helping others to find their passion too. It's contagious, it's like that song, you know, catch my disease. It's one of those things you want to be that happy person because people want to be around you and people want to live like you. So I've done all these things, oh my gosh, I've done chefing, I've done harvesting jobs, I've driven trucks in the mines, I've driven everything from those tiny little ones all the way up to the biggest ones in Australia. Yep, that was me driving around in a truck all day long, enjoying life, running around in circles, the same thing all day, non-stop, driving myself in circles, physically and mentally. And I don't know if many of you can relate to that as a job or even as a concept in life. It's just one of those things. So one thing I really found was that I never gave myself the time to stop and breathe and truly listen to myself. Yeah, I was one of those people that was so busy, being busy, because I only ever knew to be busy as being productive. What was I running from? Why couldn't I stop? And I came to realize I was running from the fear that I would not be enough if I was not frantically busy and creating and doing all of these things for everyone. But what about me? It isn't fair. <laughs> I came to realize that I wasn't listening to myself and I knew nothing about my actual fire in my belly. All I was feeling was this knot of angst and this crazy anxiety that was just consuming my every thought and my emotions. I was starting to become so erratic trying to be what I needed to be for everyone else to feel like I was contributing to the, to the uh, community. And that's one thing that really got to me. I just wanted to feel like I belonged in a community, like I was a part of something that made a difference. A part of something that lit the light for so many others. So I found that I was running from my truth. So I found that I needed to find the time to stop and listen to me and what makes me tick and what tickles my belly and makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Because coming from an empty cup has never done anyone justice. So one thing I am so grateful right now is the fact that I've finally been able to find an automated system. We're actually now moving above 95% automated and it's simple, trust me. I can do it, anyone can do it. And that's what I love is the fact that I found something so simple and such a great community that gave me guidance and it gave me a sense of belonging. It gave me love and nurturing that I needed so that I could come to my people in the best me I am. And so I come to you today with such a beautiful concept of life and love. I love to travel. I love food. I love colours, can you tell? <laughs> and I love to share it with the world. I know that I would like to, my time to be spent with those that I love, creating space and energy for others, travelling to the beautiful depths of the world and sharing all that I find. And now I finally have to slow down and stop and enjoy where I am and create more of what I love. 
so that I can help others do the same. So if you're like me and you're a passionista, you're someone who just loves life, loves people and wants to do more and give more and come from a place of just gratefulness. How great is that? Everything looks brighter. If you're like me and you just want that freedom, you want to step away from that day-to-day -day drone. What is it we're sick of? We're sick of frustration. We're sick of feeling burnt out. We're sick of time being time poor. Oh my gosh, was I ever. Full of angst, full of that inner voice screaming at you, just going, hey, I'm here. I'm here, please listen. Please love me. Please show me that I actually matter. I was looking for guidance. I wanted to be a part of something great. I wanted to feel that passion. I wanted to feel that drive. You know, it's almost deafening the clarity that comes when you just sit and stop and have the freedom of time to actually do that. How many of you were like me and you were just sick to death of living paycheck to paycheck, running the same constant vicious circles, getting to a certain point and falling short, getting to the next point, falling short and coming right back to the start again. How's about saying no more to the vicious circles and start listening to the clarity that's sitting right within you, having the time and the freedom to do that. I'd love to share this opportunity with you all. So I call on you to do like I had to do and stop. Stop right there. Take a breath, listen, and learn to ask the right questions. I think your first question should be, can I know some more information, Charlie? <laughs> Let me share with you some of the secrets that I'm falling more and more in love with each and every day, like the little hippie that I am. <laughs> and just breathe. Start some good communication. I love having a mindgasm of communication with someone on great subjects and concepts. So if you're like me and you're a little bit intrigued and you'd like to see a little bit more of what life can have to offer, I invite you to comment below, just breathe, and let's start some conversation.